Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill here with At Home with Jill, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some ideas for clutter free Christmas gifts. So, okay, so what I mean by that basically, more intentional um, gifts for Christmas rather than a bunch of like toys and stuff that are gonna end up just being clutter that no one plays with that you end up donating a month after Christmas because if I'm being honest, <laughs> I am guilty of that. Um, so in the past, and I apologize, I'm gonna be talking kind of quiet in this video just because I have kids in bedrooms and hopefully they're all sleeping, but just in case they're not, um, I don't want them to hear me. So anyway, okay, um, so in the past, I have just really wanted that like shock factor on Christmas. Um, I've wanted my kids to just kind of be like spoiled on Christmas and get all this fun stuff. Um, and I always ended up being tired of all of it a month later, like literally and like just finding it all over the house, not being used in the way that it's supposed to and just basically looking like junk all over the house. So anyway, that was like kind of in the beginning of my whole like clutter free like journey. I like to be able to minimize clutter as much as I can. That being said, I am going to share with you guys what we are getting our kids for Christmas a little disclaimer because some of this stuff is on the pricier side um, but year-round my husband and I pretty much don't spend any money on the kids all of the clothes that my kids have are hand-me-downs I've I never ever ever buy clothes or shoes so that is a huge blessing we don't like buy toys and stuff for our kids we just don't like if they really want something and it's not birthday or Christmas coming up they save up for it they work for it or whatever um, we don't just we don't buy them stuff um, they don't have rooms full of toys like you guys have seen because you see my videos all of their toys are basically like stuffed animals and Cade has Legos and um, yeah, like they just don't have a lot of stuff. I mean, they have a lot of stuff. <laughs> they just don't have a lot of toys and we don't buy them stuff. Okay, so all that being said, some of our gifts are on the pricey side, but we don't spend money year round. So we do kind of splurge on Christmas. All right, so let's talk about what we got our kids. Um, most of our gifts that we are getting our kids this year are family gifts. So we're hard, we're barely getting the kids anything individual. We don't physically have everything here yet. Some stuff has been ordered and hasn't come and some, some stuff hasn't completely been ordered yet. Um, but I have a few things here that I want to talk, well, most of it is here. So anyway, let's just, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the three boxes that I am not opening yet. I just don't want to open them. I don't want to take the chance of the kids seeing them. It's those two boxes and then there's one right there that's not opened that wait where am I pointing how do I point there <laughs> oh my gosh that is a box of books that I ordered and then I regretted and I'm gonna try to sell them if I can't return them I'm gonna try to sell them okay so so anyway, our first family gift is um, going to be a hoverboard. So we love gifts that get our kids outside and active. Um, they, they are already pretty much for the most part active. Um, but I think that this would just be something like really fun. And 
also so one reason we like to do more family gifts is because our kids tend to be on the like possessive side when it comes to their stuff so if something is labeled for so and so that person is gonna be like no it's mine it's new i just got it like i don't want anyone playing with it yet because i just got it we don't like that um so i feel like family gifts will kind of help take care of that so the hoverboard could have easily been for either boy or you know to the boys both boys to share but we were like no it can be for the whole family because if it's just for the boys they might not let their sisters try it you know so anyway so that's a family gift okay that's our first family gift our second family gift is um gosh i really hope no one can hear me <laughs> it is the calico critter house okay so the reason we got that for a family gift is because my son my eight-year-old he totally still plays with stuff like that with um because of his sisters so and i love that i think it is so awesome i've had to get on the older one about making fun of him and let him know like please don't ever make fun of Cade for playing with dolls with his sisters or whatever because um you know when your kids aren't in public school they don't they don't know that that stuff isn't cool kids don't know things like that aren't cool until they go to school and someone says it's not cool so he is just so innocent and i love that we love that so much he totally plays house with them plays dolls plays with the calico critters and um we love that so anyway we got them the big house and that's gonna be for all of them i know lawson the 13 year old is not gonna play with it okay but it's just gonna be a family gift and then my son he will get a family so that these are gonna be for my son the eight-year-old Cade he's gonna get his own family because his girls are already like you know oh I'm I want to have alone time so I want to play with these by myself right now and you know so problem solved the third family gift is you guys this is so out of character for my husband and I like so out of character for us to buy this but we got them the Nintendo switch um so we are not a video game family at all but every once in a while we have like family game night um on saturdays where we will play the wii and um we play like mario um mario kart mario whatever we play games like that and like the wii sports and stuff like that okay so all of our games are pretty much like they're really old and scratched and like they're starting to not work good and it was either buy new games or get the new console for black friday at a really good deal and it comes with a bunch of games so we decided that would be the best route and we're super excited about it um and yeah so that's our last like big family gift and um black friday did have a seriously awesome deal on it and it comes with mario kart and it comes with like three months of like um like being able to play like all the old like, classic games and i've been wanting that like i was ready to buy a nintendo 64 used from someone because those are the games i love and also i love like the super nintendo games i miss those games so much and we'll be able to play those on this so yay i'm so excited i got this for the family i had this growing up and my parents and i played it 
all the time like all the time i loved this game and yeah i don't remember why we ever stopped where it went but i'm excited to play it with my family now this is for my toddler So she has been really working on letter recognition, recognition. She's only two, but I think just from hearing my older kids do school and like watching the little phonics movies that we watch, um, I don't know. She pretty much knows all of her letters and, um, but she's definitely too young to like draw them out. So I thought this would be awesome for um, forming her letters without using a pencil and paper. And I will link all of this stuff in the description box. Um, I think this was only like 10 bucks. And then I got her this too. So it's a little poly pocket and um, my two older girls have one. They got one last Christmas and they never let Aubrey play with theirs and for good reason because she would probably lose their pieces. Um, but this one, the pieces are actually a little bigger than um, my older girls were. So you can see like, hold on. They're not as small as um the other ones is and this is like a cowgirl ranch theme one so anyway she'll love that uh, three middle kids each a um paint by sticker book so this is for the five-year-old and so what it is is there are pages of stickers like that that are numbered and then there's pages like this that have the numbers on them. And so they go and they find the sticker and then they put it in place. And then when they're done, it makes a really cool picture. So, so yeah, I think they're gonna really love these. So that's for the five-year-old and then this one is for my eight-year-old son and this one is for the seven-year-old my seven-year-old daughter um, I didn't realize when I was ordering them that one is much bigger I don't know why so yeah one has way more pages this one does so I don't know how I'm gonna <laughs> make that fair but oh well, we'll figure it out um and then the last thing i have here is um i'm excited about this but okay so my two older daughters have cute little aprons that my sister made and um but my two-year-old doesn't have an apron so i got this mommy and me apron set because i've been needing a new apron and um i really loved this one it's hard to see i'll put i'll i'll put a picture here um i'll put the amazon picture up here for you but yeah so it'll be for me and my oldest and then she can pass on her apron to my two-year-old um i think oh she's gonna love it so much and i know the two-year-old will be excited to just get her old apron so yeah so okay so those are all the things that i actually have sitting here but another thing that is totally clutter free um that was like a necessity in my eyes my husband didn't agree but he finally caved and let me order this um but my two older girls have the Betty's zipper bedding and they've had it for a year now because they got it on Christmas last year 
the quality is amazing um I, I can't say enough good things about them. Um, they make the room look nice all the time because they just have to get up and zip it up. Um, they're never like, their blankets are never spilling off their bed in a mess. It just looks really nice all the time. Plus, it keeps them really warm at night. There's a whole layer of minky on the inside, that like minky dot fabric that's like super soft and cuddly and usually only on baby blankets. There's a whole layer of that in the bedding so um so i got to order one for each of the boys so yay because i'm excited how it's gonna look in their room and i'm also just excited that they're gonna have comfy bedding because their bedding that they have now is just thrown together stuff because i was tired of their last duvet cover because it like it was such a pain in the butt to do it so i stopped putting their comforter in their duvet and then one of our old cats that we had to get rid of was peeing on my stepson's stuff i think because he smells different because he like lives with his mom and then would come to our house and like this cat just was peeing on all of his stuff so anyway i threw away all his bedding and just their stuff has never matched but they share a room and so i'm excited for them to have matching bedding and super warm cuddly comfy bedding for them i th i'm sure we're not done just because it's a little unbalanced here with the individuals but we're still gonna keep it very minimal and intentional okay so the last thing i wanted to talk about um, I just got done talking with my mother-in-law and she is going, so she always gets the kids like individual gifts and I always feel like she kind of spends too much money and stuff. So I was like, how, um, how about you get the kids a family gift together instead of individual this year because I have an idea and she was like, okay. And so I told her that I wanted the kids to get the Osmo thing for ipad and i'll put a little clip of it here because i don't know if you know what it is but um i've been wanting it forever but it's expensive and so i haven't wanted to i haven't wanted to buy it but i just saw that they're on sale and so anyway i was talking to her and she said that she is going that she loved that idea and is going to get that for the kids for christmas so that is the last clutter free gift idea that i have and i will put little clips of the things um in here for you guys and links down below and yeah so anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope it was helpful to you um for those of you that just don't want a bunch of clutter after christmas that you're going to donate later on I can't talk normal when you're just standing there. So, or if you just don't know what to get your kids, or if you have grandkids or anyone that you're buying for and you don't know what they want or anything, like these are some intentional gifts that should last a long time and um, actually get used. So, so yeah, um, I I'm thinking back now and like. A lot of you might think the calico critter stuff is clutter and um, to me it's like open-ended play I mean they can play families with it they can play teacher and classrooms with it and endless my kids are super creative when it comes to playing with their toys like that so anyway, I just, I know my kids and I know it won't be one of those things that just like doesn't get played with. Um, it will get played with in my house. So anyway, I don't know about your kids, but my kids will love it. Okay. So anyway, so if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe and like this video and, um, yeah, have a good day. Bye guys. Please comment below any questions you have for me because I'm going to be filming a Q&A video while I wrap all these gifts. You can either comment your question below or find me on Instagram and direct message me there.